My name is Todd and welcome to Honeysuckle Farms. Thanks for watching everybody. This week is going to be a real busy week and we've been looking forward to this for a long time. First things first, it all started out with my septic tank guy Chris calling me up and saying that he'd like to start a day early. And I said, oh hell yeah, come on. So him and his son and his dad came out. It's a family business. And they started working on the septic tank. Hell yeah. Alright, so it's day two of the septic tank installation. Um, Chris and Corey uh, and uh, their father worked yesterday on getting the area cleared out. Um, got the root bed pulled up and uh, went ahead and got some fill dirt in there just to get everything leveled. Um, the tank's on the way. He's digging out for the tank right now. All of the all the uh, materials and everything's going to be coming today and uh, according to Chris, they're going to knock it out. Man, when I was young, I'd be climbing that sap sucker in a heartbeat. <laughs> but, uh, you can see the carriage house over there, so we've got to make sure we meet all the parameters on the uh, septic tank and the drain field. Uh, we've got our well over there. You got to be more than 100 feet. So uh, they'll have once they get completed, it'll get inspected, and we'll be ready to hook it up. So uh, I think what we're going to do today is while these guys are working on this, we're probably going to fire the tractor up a little bit and do some uh, mowing. It's been a while since I've done that, and uh, we're probably going to go get the big tractor up here. Yep, that's right. Got a big tractor. So anyway, another day out at Honeysuckle Farms. What are you doing? I'm putting in the septic tank. And this afternoon, I got a special surprise for you. Big deal, it's coming. We'll talk about that later. Anyway, we're gonna get at it. I was telling y'all about we're getting our roofing panels made so our roof can go on tomorrow got my, got my buddy OJ here he's getting ready to put the roof up tomorrow they just get here to getting the panels cut today getting everything set up so they can get an early start in the morning so uh, they're fixing to get at it not me thank goodness but uh, pretty amazing how they do that so they just bring a roll out and cut your panels made on site
So it's Thursday afternoon, the metal company sent out its machine and started rolling out the panels. The roofers took the panels and separated them on each side of the house and began making their cuts so that the end of the panels would fit the drip edge. That was all done in advance so they could make sure that Friday morning all they had to do was set the panels, tie everything in, put the ridge cap on, and be done, hopefully, before it got too hot outside. They ended up doing a great job. And by 11 o'clock, they were done. Can't tell you how happy I am to have this roof on and how thankful I am for my friend OJ for hooking us up. Now while all that was going on, our septic tank guy was busy filling in and grading everything off in our septic tank system, which received its inspection the afternoon before. It's a good day. We finally got some rain in last night. Uh, we've had four 100 degree plus days here and um, to say it was miserable was, is an understatement. I don't know how the roofers do it in this weather. My buddy OJ hooked me up yesterday and put us our new roof on. I tell you what, I can't tell you how happy I am to have that on. Now, along with that, yesterday, we got our septic tank system completed and in. Everything's done. We want we got some nice seed we're gonna put down in here. All right, so we're up here on the second floor in the carriage house. Um, last weekend, if you saw the video, it'll be part of this video. We were um, able to get most of the windows in the upstairs done. As you can see with this one right here, there's a little problem here and it starts actually with this window. This mullion is out of square. We've got to scoot this over, take that window out, and scoot this mullion over to get this all right. It's discombobulated, but we were late in the afternoon. We had these two to mess with. We're gonna do with those next weekend. In the meantime, we've got four windows left that we left to set, so we can set them from the front porch. We didn't need to lift four. So we're gonna go ahead and get these set today, along with the windows downstairs. So. Got some electrical stuff we've got to fix up and uh, we're gonna fix it and get at it. Alrighty, so got a couple windows in so far. Uh, we had the mechanic come over and look at the backhoe and uh, we got the seed down on the uh, septic tank area and the drain field. So we got our seed in, which is perfect for the rain. So. At least we got a roof that's dried in, so we're going to work up here in the front porch and finish these last two windows and try to get on the windows in the front tomorrow or today. We'll see how it goes, but uh, we're going to do what we can do and we're going to get at it. Well, it's uh, Saturday evening and uh, it finally stopped raining. So I came up here to turn the lights off and take a look at things. And uh, you know, we're getting there folks. You know, sometimes things ain't as easy as they seem. All these first windows went in real good, but we started having problems right over in here. And uh, getting a little better at it, we'll get it figured out. Um, we had a big, big downpour this afternoon which kept us from working on the downstairs windows i wanted to get these upstairs ones done first but uh you know if we get some uh it's called for a 98 percent chance of rain tomorrow 
And if that's the case, um, we'll work on these windows that we can up in the front and uh, do what we can. And you know, that's, that's about all you can do. But uh, hope everybody's having a good weekend. Um, hope you're enjoying the, the content, the videos, and all you new subscribers out there. Thank you very much. We need all the help we can get. Please like and share our um, videos and uh, help us get some subscribers. Uh, so anyway, uh, we're calling it a day. Fixing to turn the lights off and I don't know. Head on down and uh, get things set up for tomorrow. Hopefully the weather will hold up and we'll be able to go. Uh, due to the fact that we uh, built our first floor here probably a, a year and a half ago, all the moisture we've been having out here, the openings have swelled and it's a little tighter than what we want. Um, with us putting the extra layer of flashing on, we're going to go ahead and open up this window by about half or three quarters of an inch. So we're going to break out the big uh, log saw and uh, get at it.
All right, so uh, I realized I didn't shoot an outro video for the uh, other day when we were working on the um, windows, the downstairs windows. Uh, the rain came in. We had a big rush to get the downstairs windows in after we had to cut the uh, openings out. But we were able to do that. Again, I want to appreciate everybody that watches the channel and subscribes. We really, really appreciate all that you do. Uh, tell your friends about it. Share our videos. It really helps us out, and uh, we can use all the subscribers we can get, being a little small channel like we are. Um, but anyway, uh, as we always say, I hope everybody had a fantastic weekend. I hope you have a great week. And remember, don't ever, ever give up on your dreams. My name is Todd. This is Honeysuckle Farms. Hope to see you next video. Bye.